I always wanted my own cartoon. And the opportunity for Sonic came along, and the, pers the people they were trying to sell Sonic to were ABC. So I was an ABC personality, and so it made it organic for their sale, like, hey, well, if we get him to do the voice, you want to put it on the air? And ABC was just like, release the balloons. I was on a television show at the time, going to school also. My mother did not take that for granted, and so, you know, working around my schedule was a big deal. Normally when you voice all these characters, everybody would be in the room at the same time, and you do it kind of like a table reading. So the guy who's doing Robotnik, uh, Robotnik, Robotnik, <laughs> um, you know, and, 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 and Tails and everybody, they're all in the room doing it together. And I couldn't be a part of those sessions a lot of time for my schedule. So I would be in the room by myself. Now, there's an advantage that you have as an actor in being in a room by yourself, is that you, all the time is for you. And so, you know, you're not getting just one and two shots at things, you're getting three and four and five shots at things. Um, so, I literally could aim for perfection. Good job, Sonic! I know, I know. I'm so modest. People don't get this sometimes about acting, but my job is to de deliver what you want what your vision is. So that's what I mean where I'm talking about where I say like, if I get four and five takes to do that, I have a better chance of delivering what you want. Um, sometimes people have the impression of acting like, everybody shut up while I do my impressionist thing. <laughs> and it's like, no, it's not like that, man. They, you know, they, these people have very clear ideas of who Sonic was, and I was just really able to be, step into that costume, to be quite honest, via voice. Jenny McSwain pretty much directed the um, network versions. They, they definitely, you know, made an effort in my voice, voicing as well as with the artwork and they would let me see that type of stuff. It's like, we want this to be more gritty. I had plenty of input on the character. I had no input on the stories. I deliberately wanted to make him, you know, because I'm black, if you haven't noticed. I really wanted to make him just like, you know, of no race. So when you listen to Sonic, I don't think you even get an impression that, you know, it was like, is he black? Is he white? Is he surfer? Is he whatever? No, instead he's just hero, just fast. Sorry, full brains, got a juice. Oh, forgot to tell you, watch that first stab. It's fun, but it's work. You know, it, 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 believe me, it was fun, but it was work. And there were days when, when I could see Marsha going, oh, he doesn't want to be here today. <laughs> That's what, um, and, um, and then there were days where, you know, you're really into it. You're really into it. I mean, for the most part, voice acting is acting without, uh, is, is, is acting only, not on camera. So the same energy and, you know, I'm, I'm giving that all to, uh, all to the mic. Come on, creepos, I'm not even working up a sweat here. Now you're cooking, yeah! Ow, that's hot. You ratheads in the mood for a little hedgehog kebab? Come and get it. I definitely miss my voice sessions with, with Marsha and, and the gang. You know, it's the same group of people in a, in a, in a room that see you every week and, you know, they're watching you grow up and um, so I definitely miss that. Hang tight, Dale. We're using Warp 7! The most rewarding thing about children's animation is that it doesn't die. You know, there are generations that are still unborn that will watch episodes of Sonic the Hedgehog and it will make, it, it has a shelf life that's almost forever. Um, you know, that is incredibly rewarding. I think that's the real reason why I do what I do. I tell everybody, I do what I do for legacy. I've done what I've done for legacy and I will continue to do what I do for legacy. Um, and um, um, that's incredibly rewarding. I mean, they're still showing, you know, you know, uh, you know, Charlie Brown Halloween specials on TV now, you know, and you gotta figure, these people did these voices like before I was even born. So, what's your name? My name? It's a uh, juice. I love it when people come up to me and 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 you know acknowledge that they know I did the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog because a I know that's a true fan because you, you know you got to Google me deep to 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 know that I did Sonic. <laughs> it's weird to be a part of those things and they're really capturing your youth at the same time. 
every blue moon, you know, you'll get some guy that's just kind of like, you did the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog, didn't you? You know, and he always, he'll do it on a download too. Kind of like he doesn't want everybody else in the room to know what he knows. <laughs> you did the voice, didn't you? Keep that between us. 